welcome back to the channel today we're going to be working with this in 1969 custom amx this casting was produced uh from 1969 to 1971 and as you can see this is a hot pink and i have another one which i believe it's mint or i think so it's aqua color it does have some uh, toning but i still like how it looks they are both us made you can see the hot pink one has a uh, little crack there on the back window this other one the window is perfect considering that this car is now almost 52 years old I think it looks perfect now there's a difference between the two you can see this one has bearing wheels and the hot pink one has cap style wheels uh, let us know that the aqua is actually from the early years the hot pink later years and you can see I have a new one RLC exclusive this one is blue with a white stripe it comes with the button you can see the color on the card is different from the color of the car and there you see the numbers this is 499 out of 5500 so it's a rather low number most people uh, would collect this and never open it but that's not me so we're gonna crack this bad boy open uh, every time I open one of these cars you know I, I put it back in the, the package especially these ones that have those uh they are called neoclassic wheels the chrome on those wheels are not very strong and if you touch them uh they tend to like fade away so after put you know once i i'm done with it i, I clean it up and i put it back you can see that there's a, a slight difference in the base and at, at first glance the cars they, they basically look identical but Hot Wheels never they never do that it does have a nice paint job nice water slide there's a little bit of paint there it does have the reverse light like the original one You see the new ones they the the casting is crumbed out when the old ones it was just the zinc plating it's a totally different look the new one has the painted grill with headlights the original one did not have any details in the front now there I don't know if you was able to get a glance but the back window is slightly different so if you get one of those new ones and try to make it into an old one the back window is the first giveaway now there's no difference between these two even though they're from basically different years the base is the same the casting is the same the only difference is the type of wheels so let's open this bad boy up got the center punch be very careful try to do only one strike 
the beginning I used to do this with the car facing down and uh, that's not really a good idea these the metal on these cars are, it's very weak and you end up bending the the metal and that's why sometimes you see cars that when they, they try to close them back up it, it has a gap between the casting and the and the base so I used the uh, 116 drill bit I'll have links to everything in the video description and now I'm using a number 29 which is very close to a 964 but very uh, slightly smaller which works better with the red lines uh, cars you can see there the I pulled the casting apart the window the windshield there hooks to the seats or interiors using the Dremel here I uh, clean around the post so I could close the car back up so I went back and drilled again with the 116 drill bit now I'm using a 172 uh, tap using some wires there to clean up the windshield some pledge dip it you clean the excess you put it away it took me like two days or three cover it up so it doesn't get any dust so now I'm using lime away about 50 50 50% lime away 50% water so I'm just gonna dip the base I leave it there for like four minutes and using a brass brush I clean it up it comes out very nice and shiny notice that I have not removed the the old wheels yet and it also removed the the tail light paint now this is the casting well I'm sorry that's the base after washing it this is the casting after removing the paint you can see that the sink plating is still look good I'm going to be using this red line shop base coat. This is the second time I use this. I did not electro polish. I did not sink plate. There is some marks where uh, the, the sink plate is damaged. So I'm going to be doing an, an experiment. Now here's something for you uh, if you guys like to paint. So when you deal with these cars that the hood open when you turn them around this usually happens and right there your paint is damaged the hood makes contact with the cowl and there goes your paint job so I came up with this I'm using a piece of brass thin piece of brass you can use a soda can aluminum you just cut it be careful not to cut yourself and just bend it like this and that basically works like a spring and does not allow the hood to open all the way up see so you, you can still get paint on the on the side of the hood but the hood will not open all the way and again you can see that I, I did not sink plate or anything The base coat, this uh, red line, red line shop uh, base coat. You do have to shake it a lot. I did about, I think I did one light coat, and then one heavy coat. That was enough to uh, 
to cover up the areas where I did not have sink. Check it out. Thing looks amazing. And I'm I'm gonna be painting this light blue. I did not have light blue, but I did have uh, blue. So what I did was I mixed two part clear urethane with one part blue spectre flame from the red line shop. And this is just the first coat. You can see how much I'm throwing and it's still very light. So that this way I don't have to worry about uh, getting too dark real quick. You see I'm holding it with a piece of rag because I bake it. New wheels. Very simple to work with. Just set it down. Put your set the knife between and just plop. Repeat four times. You take off all the four wheels. Then I'm installing brand new Bright Vision deep dish, my favorites. And just do that all the way around. Now, uh, there is a red Sharpie, but I'd rather use the Milwaukee. I like, I like the red better from the Milwaukee uh, Sharpie. Now, if I have to use it for like a, a black detail, I don't like the Milwaukee branded one because it kind of looks like a dark blue or almost sometimes it looks like a purple. If I do need the black one, I, I will use the, the Sharpie brand. But for the... The tail light, I, I do prefer Milwaukee brand Sharpie. So here is the windshield. Let's put it together. Nice and clean with hot soapy water. I tend to do this before I paint. So while I'm working with the car, the windshield has time to dry. Look at this. Remember, no electro polish, no sink plating, no polishing of the metal. It was just the base coat. And you see how it looks. And be because uh, we prepared, just making sure the wind windshield is sitting perfect. You don't want to close up the car and then notice that the windshield is crooked. And like I was saying, because we prepared, putting it back together, there is no surprises goes back together nice and smooth I have here the 172 uh, screws the front retighten the back one don't don't put one and tighten it all the way and it rolls beautifully so the light blue version it's a, uh, said to be a prototype and because it was a prototype, most likely it had bearing wheels, and this one has cop wheels. But I'm pretty sure you guys are not going to tell anybody. And there it is. I'm in love with that base coat. There is the original one in aqua. You can see the, the Spectra Flame paint. It's very similar. You don't see that uh, that chrome or polished surface underneath, and it, it gives you a more like a more proper finish. 
And this is one of my Sweet 16 cars I redid because it was a polish and I was just never happy with the finish. Now these two, I use the same paint. So you can see the different shade. That's because on the, on the custom Firebird, I used a lot more paint. That's why it's darker. So there's basically three types of blue. There's blue, medium blue, and light blue. So that goes to show you that all, that all depended on who was painting that day at the factory. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna end up doing probably end up redoing all my Swig 16 using that base coat because it's just to me it looks a ton better. Remember this buddy right here? It's the Matchbox Super Kings K. 36 that's gonna be the next one and it's gonna go with this it's a super king Lamborghini Miura K24 I'm not gonna be opening this car uh, I think it looks perfect just the way it is you can see it opens the back to expose the engine you can see here it has three holes. I'm thinking about creating some kind of jig that'll hold the car in place and the car won't move. And you know that I already did the Team Honda with the K6. So I'm thinking about doing the K, uh, the, here's a, a K11. The difference in the tow truck. I have a number 33, I believe it is. Lamborghini Miura. It, this one opens the door. You see the, the difference in size. So for, I was thinking of putting this one together with the, with the K11. But I don't, I'm not sure yet. I'll probably customize it just like the other one, like the Team Honda. But the current K36 is going to end up being a Team Lambo, similar to the Team Honda. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Uh, a while back, somebody left a comment saying that I should buy an uh, Iwata airbrush. I don't know about you guys, but it seems like my $20 airbrush works just perfect. Let me know what you think. And if you want me to buy in a water, I do have a Patreon link on the video description and a PayPal donation link also. So that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. And peace out.